We're gonna make a chicken peanut wrap and we're going to serve it up with some charred corn. So I'm gonna make like a quick corn salad out of uh, four good sized ears of corn on the cob. Spray it down and throw it on your grill pan or on your outdoor grill. In a pan, I started with two pounds of very lean ground chicken. And I brown that up just with a little bit of olive or vegetable oil. And then I season it up with some salt and pepper. And then we're going to start adding in our other ingredients once the chicken is browned. I've got a large leek or two medium leeks and some celery. I use a couple of ribs from the heart of the celery. Chop up the leafy tops too, please. They're delicious. And then we're gonna let the leeks and the celery start to cook down a bit. This doohickey is actually for truffles, right? But I use it to shave the garlic poly thin, as I call it, going into our lettuce wrap collection over here. Now when it comes to the chilies, these are red finger chilies. They're similar to Fresno chilies. They're a fruity heat, they're not too spicy. When it comes to chilies in general, if you want the dish to be less spicy, this is where the heat lives, on the inside of the chili. Now, when the corn comes off of the grill pan or your outdoor grill, you're going to need to get it off the cob. I'm adding some fresh ginger to our mixture of our browned white meat chicken, or you can use white and dark combined. Two pounds of ground chicken meat, makes enough to feed an army for these um, lettuce wraps that we're making. I already added a little splash of stock to pick up all of our drippings from the bottom of the pan. The little bits of fond and the little bits of chicken that got stuck to the bottom of our cast iron skillet, that releases them all. Now we're going to add our flavors. We're gonna take a light in viscosity, so it moves around real easy, very vinegary cayenne pepper sauce, like a Frank's Red Hot or Crystal, any of those. A very vinegary, not too spicy hot sauce. And you're gonna go once around the pan, slowly, you'll end up with about a quarter cup. About three tablespoons of light soy sauce. A couple tablespoons of Worcestershire. A little drizzle of honey. And fresh lime juice. Delicious. And then we're gonna add crunch and texture by throwing in what's left of the jar of dry roasted peanuts. Mmm! <laughs> I like a one-to-one -one ratio, chicken to peanut. <laughs> so that's the filling for our lettuce wraps. So we took a few ears of corn. I told you about the two bowl system. See, when you scrape down the corn, it gets collected in the larger bowl. Makes it so easy, and you don't have to chase it all over the counter. Ta-da! And then, you just slide that bowl out of there. Come on, baby. Come to mama. And wipe off the extra. And there you go. Now, over here, we're gonna make the dressing. Already in the food processor, I have one fat clove of garlic, a whole bunch of cilantro, and about a half a bunch of mint leaves. We're gonna get that going. We're gonna stream in acacia honey to sweeten it. We're gonna add lime juice, and then we're gonna throw in our olive or vegetable oil to finish our vinaigrette. A little salt and pepper and cumin. The only other thing that goes in the salad are red onions and jalapeno peppers. I'm gonna dress the salad. When we come back, I'll show you how to serve this up. You serve this right on a trivet, right on the middle of the table with um, gem romaine, little baby romaine, or you can use good old bib lettuce. Everybody can find that. And they're lettuce wraps, right? You know how this rolls. You get a big old spoon. You just serve up the ground meat and nut mixture inside the lettuce. Very healthy, very pretty. And then to go alongside, we have our corn and jalapeno salad with the honey herb vinaigrette, the minty cilantro vinaigrette. Look how cute that is. Yay!